Namaste, I'm Rosalie from Rosalie Yoga and thank you so much for being here today. Now ahead of Global Wellness Day, I wanted to share some rather unconventional tips for increasing your sense of wellness, a feeling really strong and empowered in all ways, physically, mentally, and spiritually. So today this is a little bit of a different video for me and I'm gonna get really raw and real. Now, most of us know about the basics, about eating a really good, clean diet, about exercising, drinking lots of water and meditation. Now, all of these things are really important. But that's not what I'm going to talk about today. What if you want to go beyond that to really feel like your most optimal self, like you can do anything and really take on the world? Well, make sure you stay to the end where I'm going to reveal the top tip that has helped me the most. Now, I've been on a bit of a journey myself over the last year, and I never thought I would do this, but I'm going to share with you a photo of what I looked like a year ago. So this is it. And you can see, obviously, there are a few extra kilos, but that's not what I see when I look in this photo. I see the lack of light in my eyes, like that fire within me had just been extinguished. But this is actually a really great thing that happened to me because it kickstarted my journey to where I am today, which is 12 kilos lighter, that's about 25 pounds, super, super strong, full of motivation and just ready to soar. Now that has a lot to do with things like strength training and spinning and prioritizing protein. But those kind of basic superficial things is not what I wanna talk about today. There are things that I unearthed over the course of the year that really stand out for me. So I'm sharing them with you here ahead of Global Wellness Day in hopes that my learnings can help you along your journey too. So number one is to speak your truth. Stop caring about what other people think about you and be 100% authentically you, all of you, all of the time. Now, very often we kind of hide certain parts of ourselves and only reveal them to certain people in certain situations. That's what I stopped doing. I'm 100% me all of the time. And that for me really comes through in being so open, talking so openly and publicly about out of body experiences. Because it's such an important part of my life, it's something I've kept hidden since I was little, I've had these experiences since I was a child, but it always seemed very wacky and unconventional to talk about leaving your body at night and going on all these great adventures and getting all these great insights through that. But you know what? That is a big part of me. I own it. I step into that and I just came out of the closet with OBEs. And I hope whatever that is for you, if you have a topic like that, you will just step fully into it and just say, if this is an important part of me, I'm going to be talking about it. Tip number two is to get super clear about what you want out of life. Now, what is important to you? And this comes down to knowing what your definitions are. What is your definition of success? What is your definition of happiness? You know, for me, success is really about creating a big impact in the world. That is how I define success and having the time, the freedom and the resources to do the things that really light me up, that make me feel inspired and excited and fuel me to go and create more and more things that inspire others. So how do you get clear on these things? Well, that's gonna come from here, from the heart and not so much from the mind. And it's really about sitting in the heart, about letting the wisdom of your heart speak to you. And you can do this through meditation, through journaling, through yoga nidra, I do a lot of it through astral projection because I'm able to then to speak to my higher self. These are all things that have really helped me be able to clearly define what success is and what happiness is for me. Tip number three is to laugh more. Don't take things so seriously or let those little things annoy you. And this is something I have to work on every single day because I'm naturally quite serious. Uh, my mom has always told me I was born with a frown on my face and that's very true because I'm always in my head. I really think a lot and I'm really learning to drop more into my heart space. So get the answers more from the heart, 
less from the mind. And this is a daily practice. You just continually practice this. But laughing is really one of the best things you can do to increase your wellness because it releases endorphins in the body. It just makes you feel good. And it also creates ripples of wellness around you because it affects all the people around you. It does help in my case that my husband is incredibly funny. So he's really taught me to laugh a lot more and to be a lot less serious. Tip number four is to prioritize rest, deep conscious rest and good quality sleep. Now this doesn't mean to be lazy. You really want to keep going and push yourself, but you also need to learn to listen to your body and rest when you need to rest. Yoga Nidra or non-sleep deep rest and SDR are amazing practices to really learn to deeply rest within yourself. And it doesn't have to be a certain amount of time. And I love this from Tracy Stanley of Radiant Rest. Highly recommend you read this book if you haven't already. She talks about weaving moments of yoga nidra throughout your day, even if it's just one minute, instead of having to create a big space for it in your day. Because often we'll say, oh, I just don't have 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, so I'm not gonna practice. But the way Tracy explains it is you can really thread these beautiful moments throughout your day, even if it's just one minute. So how do you do that? Well, I'd highly recommend you read the book. There's a whole chapter about how you do this, and I'm going to leave a link for that book in the description below. So what about sleep? How do you get enough good quality sleep? Well, there are certain practices you can put into place, like not having your phone in your bedroom, which is something I've been doing now for years. Stop looking at your screens a few hours before bedtime. But for me, it's really about creating a whole sleep ritual at night. And it begins with tea. Like I have some kind of tea before I go to bed. If I'm doing an astral projection practice, it'll be a mugwort tea. Or sometimes it's blue lotus tea. Blue lotus tea really helps me kind of have very vivid dreams. And I lucid dream sometimes with blue lotus or chamomile tea. So it's tea, it's going to bed, really cozy space, playing with my girls, my cats in bed for you know, a few minutes, reading something that inspires me is often something about astral projection or I read a lot of Diana Cooper. And then um, also rereading my dreams from the previous night. And I find that really helps me get into the zone of being ready to dream, to remember my dreams, to have an experience. You're just creating the right atmosphere to lull you into not just sleep, but maybe a sleep adventure. Let's call it that. Super important to have a dream journal. I'm just going to drop that in there as well. So I would be reading that dream from my dream journal. And here we are at my top tip, and that is to look inside yourself for all the answers. Very often, myself included, we look for the answers for the guidance for validation from external sources. I often would go to my husband or my best friend, Gabriela. They both have such good insights. They know me inside and out. But what I'm doing then is giving away the power. But everything you need, all the answers, all the clarity, all the direction is within yourself. It's all already here. But often we just don't have access to it. You know, it's just often we just need to open the door for all of these things to come through. How do we do that? Well, there are many ways and it's different for everyone. But for me, it's through the two most transformative practices I know, that's yoga nidra and astral projection. Both of these practices help me really access everything I need from my higher self, from this wise, all-knowing, infinite light part of me and allow things to just drop in. And having a strong, consistent, daily spiritual practice to be connected to all these higher energies, really to be able to still yourself and hear these answers is critical. And the key there is consistent. You know, if you only do this once a month or when you feel like it, you're not creating consistency in your life. So really, it has to become something daily for you, a daily habit that you're creating the space for all the answers to still your mind so that you can hear more. And I absolutely love the saying, the less you speak, the more you hear. So the more still you can become within yourself, 
the more you can just go inwards um, through yoga nidra, astral projection in my case, maybe being in nature, maybe it's some kind of flow state that you have when you're creating painting or something like this. Just find what it is for you and do it, but make it consistent daily practice for you. <sighs> so that was a lot, but those were my five top tips or learnings for me to help you become an unstoppable radiant light that just keeps on shining brighter and brighter. And just to recap, one, speak your truth. Two, know what you want. Three, laugh more. Four, prioritize rest and sleep. And finally, my top tip, look inside yourself for all the answers. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Now, this was very raw for me. It's a very different kind of video for me. I usually don't speak so openly like this on the internet or publicly, but I really wanted to share these things with you because I feel it's important that we go sometimes beyond kind of the superficial things. Now, I'd love to hear from you. What was your biggest takeaway from this video? Please leave me a comment below and let me know what resonated with you the most. And as always, if you like this video, I'd be grateful if you subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified every single time I post a new video. It really does help support my channel. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be free. Namaste.